What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today is Saturday, which, as you know, means one thing. Saturday mimosas. And that also means we're gonna make a recipe. What that recipe is, I'm about to tell you, so just hold on. We're making lower fat cauliflower hummus today. I love hummus, I do. I love hummus. I could eat it every day and I almost do. But I don't think of hummus as lower fat for one thing. Messing with it, putting cauliflower and other things in it that a lot of other people do, I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that. So we're gonna see. It still has a lot of the basic ingredients. So it has chickpeas still, has the oil, has tahini, has salt, lemon, all that good stuff. It should be good. I'm just being a little negative Nancy right now. So let's see. Here's what you're gonna need. One head of cauliflower, chickpeas, one to one and a half lemons, paprika, salt, tahini, olive oil, cumin, garlic cloves, green onions, and parsley. All right, first let's chop the cauliflower. We're gonna boil this cauliflower for a little bit, so let's go ahead and grab a pot. Set your burner to high. So we're gonna put these larger chunks in there and we're gonna boil for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now we're gonna boil this just until it's pierceable with a fork, much like when you're boiling potatoes. While the cauliflower is cooking, let's go ahead and chop the garlic. Now that it's boiling, let's go ahead and cover it. 12 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes has passed, let's check the cauliflower. Yes, it is pierceable, for sure. Now, we're gonna drain it and let it cool just for a few minutes. While that's cooling, let's go ahead and get your scallions and your parsley. We're gonna need a quarter cup chopped scallions and parsley. Quarter cup each, not together. Open up your chickpeas, and we're gonna keep about two to three tablespoons of this chickpea liquid, just in case the hummus is a little bit on the dry side. All right, we're gonna throw our cauliflower in a food processor, and we're gonna puree just a bit, it says. Don't get crazy with it. I think we're good. Now, make sure to rinse your chickpeas, and we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. Don't forget your lemon juice. I almost did. Add the remaining ingredients. Olive oil, salt, chickpeas, the most important ingredient, paprika, tahini, cumin, garlic, scallions, parsley, lemon juice, and blend. Now we reserved about three tablespoons of the chickpea liquid. I don't feel like it needs it really. I mean, it's pretty creamy as it is, but it did say adjust the taste, so I'm gonna taste a little bit of it. I'm gonna add some of the chickpea liquid just because. It's still a little chunky, but it's pretty smooth. Guess that's all we're adding. <laughs> the rest went down the drain. All right, we have blended that enough, I say. Now, we're gonna take this out, put it in a container, and chill it in the fridge for an hour. I know, it's hard to wait an hour to eat this deliciousness, but just do it. Otherwise, you'll regret it. Let's try it. I consider myself a bit of a hummus expert. This is pretty good hummus. The cauliflower peeks through just a bit. I feel like it's more of an aftertaste than anything. Now, I think if I had this in a restaurant, I don't know if I would have said, hmm, is cauliflower in this? It's good, I would eat this entire bowl. So I enjoy hummus and I enjoy this, if that tells you anything. Good flavors, you don't need to add anything. It's had, it has plenty of salt, plenty of spices in there. Just good. I mean, it is a really good, if it's actually low fat, which, you know, the cookbook says it is, then it's great. Of course, I guess it's not low fat if you eat the whole damn bowl. I give it two pita slices up. Delicious. If you like hummus, you should make this. As always, Thanks for watching guys, hit a thumbs up if you liked it, I would love you for it. And subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I will see you all next time.